hello. <laughs> Welcome to a wet and windy Forest of Dean here in um, southwest England. This is one of the areas that I teach navigation courses in. On days like today, you have to keep reminding yourself of the quote by Alfred Wainwright. There's no such thing as bad weather, just inappropriate clothing. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry. I prefer the sunshine. Anyway, where were we? Today, I want to share with you the simplest method of taking a grid reference or a UTM coordinate from a map. Um, it's the way that I do it, and I've never seen a better way. I'll assume that you know what grid references are, or UTM coordinates, which is just Universal Transverse Mercator. Otherwise, you wouldn't be looking for or wouldn't be interested in a better way of doing it. Today, I'm going to use two maps to demonstrate how it's done. So I've got a uh, British Ordnance Survey and an American Topo, uh, USGS Topo 1 to 24,000. I'll put this onto the screen so you can see what I'm doing. So this is the UK Ordnance Survey map, and this is the USGS American Topo map. The method of finding a grid reference is exactly the same on both maps and it will work on virtually all maps anywhere. So let's say that I want to tell somebody where I am. Well imagine that I'm at point 482 on this British map and I'm at Bedito Cone on the American map. Now obviously there's a problem here because I can't just say that I'm at spot 482 as, as you can see on the map, there's another spot 482 only 500 metres away. So I need to identify which one I'm at. Oh, spot by the way in this case is just the normal abbreviation of spot height. I also can't say that I'm just on Bedito Cone as this name covers the whole mountain. So I need to specify at least roughly where I am on the mountain. Now, the normal way of doing this in the UK is to give a grid reference, and in the USA it's to give a UTM coordinate. For this demonstration, we're going to get our location to within 100 metres, which is normally near enough. Again, as I said earlier, I'm assuming that you already understand what grid references and UTM coordinates are. So let's have a look at the map again. And as you can see on the US map, Bedito Cone is at UTM 498000 East and 4181000 North. But just for this video, I'm going to drop the small numbers and just say that we're in square 19881. Next, on the British map, using the same method along the corridor then up the stairs, we can see that spot 482 is in grid 43.95. Okay, so you're going to need a, a good quality compass with right angle scales on the base plates. I'll just zoom in on these. You can see them here. These are the right angle, right angle scales. Now, if you don't have one of these, I'd suggest going out and getting one as they do make things easier. And the easier things are, the less likely they are to go wrong. Make sure that the scales on your compass are the same as the scale of your map. So all we're going to do is place the compass onto the map and the top right hand corner of the scale is going to be placed directly on your location. OK, I'll zoom in again on the map. Let's try the American map first. And as this is a 1 to 24,000 map, I'm going to use the top right hand corner of the 1 to 24K scale and I'm going to put it onto my position. As always, it's along the corridor, then up the stairs. So firstly, the vertical line or the easting, we follow upwards and we can see the 98 line. And then we read the base plate number closest to the 98 line which is one, two, three. Then we do the same with the 81 horizontal line and we can see that it's just on number one. So the USGS topo grid reference, or sorry, UTM coordinate for my position on the summit of Bedito Cone is 98.3.81.1. We'll do the same on the UK Ordnance Survey map, which is one to 25,000. And so I use the 1 to 25k scale on the compass base plate. And we can see that the grid reference is 42, 6, 95, 7. 
and again that's correct to within approximately 100 meters square. Oh, the seven, by the way, is I've rounded it up to the nearest figure on the uh, base plate numbering system. You could divide it again, but then it'd start to get more complicated. So that's it. How simple was that? Let's have a quick recap. I'll just drop it back onto your screen. Put the top right hand corner of your base plate scale onto your location and then read the numbers where they cross the vertical and horizontal lines on your map. As I said, really simple. That is why they print these uh, scales onto maps. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Just pack all my stuff up now. Oh, hang on a minute. I've just had to I've just had a little thought. If you're going out walking with your friends, you can just say something like, let's all go to one, two, three, four, five, six. And because you've all got the same map, you'll know where that is, you'll know what it means. But for anyone who doesn't know which map you're using, the numbers on their own aren't any use because numbers repeat on all maps. Um, as an example, um, the, ref the one I just gave you, say, 12, 3, 45, 6. I'll when I get back, I'll drop a graphic onto your screen, which hopefully you can see now. And that is all the places in the UK with that grid reference. It's the same in the US. UTM references, UTM coordinates, um, they repeat. I'll drop another graphic onto your screen now. So this is all the places in the USA with the, the same UTM coordinate as Bedito Cone which is 498-4181. So unless you tell them which map you're using, numbers on their own aren't much use. As an example, in the UK, you can say, I'm using map SO. You can find the uh, digits for that map in the top corners or the bottom in the corners on Ordnance Survey maps. So you would say, I'm at SO 1213-456. In the USA, I'm trying to remember now, I think, from memory, Bedito Cone is in zone 13. No doubt somebody will correct me if I'm wrong. So for Bedito Cone, you would say, my UTM coordinate is 13498-4181. Anyway, that's that. I'm definitely going now. <laughs> Thanks for watching.